and let's get started. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and in today's video I have all of my WW must-haves. So if you enjoyed this video or find it helpful please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and let's get started. So I realized it's been almost a year or maybe it's been over a year now since I've done my last WW must-have item video. So I like to do one of these every once in a while because the must-haves that I have do switch a little bit and just the things that I use more kind of change up. So today I'm going through my top 30 WW must have staple items for when I go grocery shopping. Now, I just want to say this does not include any zero point foods. I already have a video from a couple months ago where I go through my WW must have zero point foods. So I will link that in the description below. That covers a lot of fruits, vegetables, proteins, different things like that. So what you guys are seeing today is not everything that I eat. This is more of the store bought products that I buy that are not zero points. So zero point foods in the description below. Anyway, though, just wanted to say that because sometimes people will mention that I don't eat a lot of fruits or vegetables or something when I post a video like this, but this isn't showing everything that I eat. These are just some of my staple items I use to create the meals with the fruits and vegetables and meats. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I have my list in front of me. I have pretty much every food item. I think I'm only missing a couple, so I'll show you guys what I have. And if I don't, I'll just put a picture on the screen. But let's go ahead and start with the first thing, which also, I'm not gonna go in any specific order. I didn't rank these or anything like that. I buy all of these so frequently, use them all the time, so yeah. Okay, I don't even know where to start, but let's go ahead and just start with something random. So these are Mighty Sparks Chicken Snack Sticks. So in general, meat sticks like this have been just a really convenient snack on my journey since the start of my weight loss. I've gone through a few different brands that I like, and right now this is just my all-time favorite, Mighty Spark, and the flavor is honey and jalapeno. These are two points for one stick. They're 60 calories, two grams of fat, and six grams of protein. So it's just a good, convenient snack that is higher in protein, so it's a little bit more filling. Two points for this isn't bad, and I can have it with some fruit or crackers or something. I like to bring these hiking with me, or if I'm just going to be out running errands or something, this is one of my favorite snacks to just grab because they're quick and convenient. So I do like Chomps, Vermont, there's a few other brands, but the Mighty Sparks ones are my favorite at the moment. Okay, the next item is Quest Salted Caramel Protein Shakes, and I think this has been in both of my other must-have videos. This is something that's been a staple from the start of my weight loss journey. We've gone through so many different brands of protein shakes that we've tried. We really started with Premier. We liked a lot of the Premier shakes in the beginning. Then we did like a lot of the Fairlife, and we still do like Fairlife. I just prefer Quest out of all of them. I wish this one was dairy-free. It's not. That's what I do like about the Fairlife, is that they're lactose-free, but this is the salted caramel flavor. So in this, it has 30 grams of protein, it's 170 calories, and it's three points on WW. This is just my favorite flavor in general. I could use just a small portion of it, maybe a point worth, as a creamer in coffee, but I like to make a protein coffee with it. So I'll do an espresso pod, a scoop of collagen, one of these, and some ice, and it is my all-time favorite coffee. So three points for that. I buy those all the time, usually at Target, uh, but they also have them on Amazon sometimes and just some other stores randomly. I'll find them, but usually I get those at Target or Meyer. Okay, the next thing, some of these things I kind of combined into one category because I wanted to include 30 items and I just had so many. So this is just like gummy, real fruit snack type thing. And I'm gonna cover three snacks really quickly. So one item, technically I'm counting it as, but these are the bare fruit rolls. They're just made from real fruit. It comes with two fruit roll-ups like this. It's one point for the pack for two rolls. It's 60 calories. And I just really like these, again, as a quick option to grab with me. Same with both of these. So these are the Soli gummies. They have a few other flavors. The mango and orange, I think it is, is my favorite flavor, but they're all really good. They're just like these little nuggets and they're gummy. They're made with real fruit again. So if you've ever had like fruit leather or something like that, it just tastes like dried fruit, but really good. Two points for these packs. It is 70 calories 
and another quick thing to bring with me. And then the last thing, something that I talk about a lot on my channel now, these are the Sunmade Fruity Raisin Snacks. So these are the Sour Blue Raspberry. That's my favorite flavor. They're just golden raisins with a little bit of like a candy flavoring coating on them. So they have a few other flavors, watermelon, strawberry, tropical punch, but the Blue Raspberry is my favorite. It's 60 calories for one and just a sweet snack, especially late at night when I want gummy candy, I grab for these. These two are more likely for me to bring hiking or something like that, but I really like these as well. Okay, the next thing I'm talking about is Panko breadcrumbs. So I just have the Great Value brand here. I've gotten so many other brands too. Some of them are lower point actually. There's one I get from Woodman's that's lower in points, but it doesn't really matter. A lot of times I just use it for breading on vegetables if I'm doing like breaded green beans or pickles or chicken sandwiches. This gives a really good crunch and it's really not too high in points. I also always have this on hand because that's how I make my burgers. So whether I'm using ground beef or turkey or chicken, I always add for every pound of meat, one egg and a third cup of panko breadcrumbs and then some seasoning. That's just my go-to recipe for it. It makes juicy burgers that taste really good. They reheat well. And yeah, that's pretty much my favorite thing to add to them. So just plain panko breadcrumbs. The great value works fine. For a half cup, it is 100 calories, three points and three grams of protein, 21 carbs. But yeah, I always have these in the pantry because I use them for a bunch of different meals. Okay, next up is Greek yogurt. And non-fat Greek yogurt is zero points. So that's in my other video with two ingredient dough and stuff like that. But this is the vanilla Greek yogurt from Light and Fit. And then also the caramel apple pie is one of my favorites. So I like to buy it both ways. I like to get these containers because first of all, they have different flavors that are really good that I enjoy. These are two points for the container. They have 80 calories and 12 grams of protein, nine carbs and eight grams of sugar. And then these are just the big tubs of the same yogurt, but they only have them in vanilla. I think they have plain too, but I like to get the vanilla for my yogurt bowls. For the serving of three quarter cup, it's three points. I usually just do a two point serving though when I measure out my cup because I find three quarter cup is a little bit much for what I want because I add other stuff to it. But for a three quarter cup, three points, 90 calories and 14 grams of protein, also eight grams of sugar. So this has been nice because I pretty much just make a yogurt bowl at night and I'll just scoop it out. I just weigh it onto my scale. Then I'll add some blueberries and then I'll add the next item that I'm going to talk about, which is Kashi Golin Crunch Cereal. So they have a few flavors of this. This is just something random that we bought in the start of our journey and we've been buying it since. This has been on my must have list for a while and pretty much I just weigh out a two point serving which is about 20 grams. So I put my bowl on the scale, I zero it out and then I'll just add some of this, usually 20 grams for two points and it adds the perfect sweetness and peanut butter flavor and crunch to the yogurt. It really is a good portion. It's about a quarter cup and it's the perfect amount again with the blueberries. I find that this with the blueberries makes it kind of taste like a peanut butter and jelly. So we buy this. It's always at like Walmart, Meyer, Target. It's pretty easy to find. And they also have chocolate. They have a coconut flavor. And I don't know, I'd say that my two favorite though are the peanut butter and chocolate. And for the serving, which is three quarter cup, like I said, I usually only use a quarter cup, but for three quarter, it's 220 calories, nine grams of fat, 31 carbs and 10 grams of protein. Okay, next up we have True Fru. So this is a newer item that I tried this past year. It is frozen fruit. So first of all, True Fru has a few options. They have like hyper dried fruit, but then they also have frozen fruit. So I prefer the frozen. Usually the dried ones that are like on the shelves, not in the freezer section are much higher in points. They're still really good, but these are lower in points because it's just fresh fruit that's frozen. So like this one is raspberries dipped in white chocolate and chocolate. I prefer the ones in dark chocolate this one's milk, but still really good. And for the serving of about four to five pieces, it's five points on WW, 90 calories, five grams of fat, 10 carbs, nine grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. So these are just really good to have in the freezer for me. A lot of times I'm satisfied with just like one or two raspberries. So I just have to track one or two points because after dinner or after lunch, I want something sweet. So I can just grab like one or two of these and it's satisfying. But then sometimes I also have the full portion because they're just a really good dessert option. And like I said, those are in the freezer section. Then I guess I could get some more frozen stuff out of the way. So the next thing I'm talking about is just frozen potatoes. So I have a couple options I'm gonna share. One is just these shredded hash brown potatoes. So whenever I buy frozen potatoes, I always check the ingredient label to make sure that they don't add any oil or anything because sometimes they do. But if you look at this one, the only ingredients are potatoes. So that makes this only two points for three ounces, which is 70 calories. It's got two grams of protein and 16 carbs. 
and I can make a really filling breakfast with these. So with the shredded hash browns, I actually like to just lay them out on a foil and pop them in the air fryer. Then they get really crispy. I'll spray them with a little olive oil spray and add some salt, but these are a really good option for a filling breakfast as a base for a bowl or just a side with eggs. And then another frozen potato I wanna share, these hash brown patties, which I've seen them other places than Trader Joe's, similar point values, but these are the ones from Trader Joe's. They just come in a pack like this. It's four points for one hash brown patty and 120 calories, six grams of fat, 15 carbs, and a gram of protein. And I usually just pop one in the air fryer and cook it up and then I'll have it with a side of eggs or sometimes I'll make like a Crunchwrap Supreme breakfast style. And these work perfect for those. But yeah, frozen potatoes have been something that have been a really good option for me to make filling breakfasts. They're really convenient. I can just take the portion out of here that I need. And like I said, two points for the serving is not bad at all. So frozen potatoes have been a go-to of mine. Okay, then to get all the frozen stuff out of the way, I'm gonna do these next. These are the Trader Joe's Chicken Cilantro Mini Wontons. So there again are other brands that have these that we buy too, like Bibigo, but I really like the Trader Joe's ones. They're low in points. They crisp up so well in the air fryer, but you can also microwave them or just cook them in a pan on the stove. But for the serving of four pieces, it's only one point on WW, 50 calories, half gram of fat, nine carbs, and three grams of protein. And I just love the flavor of them. I like cilantro and I prefer chicken wontons usually, so these are perfect. They are small, but they're like the perfect bite size ingredient that they're really good for bowls. If I wanna add some to stir fry or something, they smell really good now that I opened them. But I know a lot of people like to also add them to soup. I haven't tried that yet, but I think I will because I wanna do some different ramens and stuff and I'll see how this is in them, but yeah. Super convenient, it's a good side for meals, it's a good appetizer, or sometimes I just snack on these. Okay, then next we have cashew milk. So, this is pretty much the only cashew milk I use. I do like the one from Trader Joe's that's the almond cashew and macadamia nut milk, but this is my go-to. This is the Silk unsweetened creamy cashew milk. It's unflavored as well. They do have a vanilla version, but I just like to get this one because I can use it for so many different things. Mostly I use it for my protein shakes or for different recipes if I'm making kind of like a creamy mac and cheese or something like that, or if I'm having a bowl of cereal or even just to add to coffee. I always use this. It's one point for one cup, but if you have a half cup or less, it's zero points. So if I'm making like pancakes, sometimes I'll just need like two tablespoons, that's zero points. So that's always nice. But for the cup, it's 25 calories, two grams of fat and one carb. It is dairy free, gluten free and soy free. And like I said, just a staple. I always have this stuff in the fridge because I use it pretty much daily. Okay, next up we have pasta that I use. So I'm gonna show these two. Bonza has been a staple from the start of our journey. It's still something we buy all the time and it's just a good higher fiber, higher protein option. It's got lower carbs, which isn't a huge deal to me, but I do like that it has more protein and fiber. For the serving of two ounces, it's four points on WW. So it is lower point than normal pasta. It's 190 calories, three grams of fat, 35 carbs, five grams of fiber and 11 grams of protein. And a lot of times Adam and I will just split the box. So they come in eight ounce boxes and usually we each have a four ounce serving which comes out to seven or eight points depending on the type. The cavatappi is definitely our favorite noodle to get but yeah it usually rounds down to seven points if you split the box which is not bad for a serving of pasta especially if I add a low point sauce or something or have like a protein like ground turkey that's 99% lean. And then I also really really like the Barilla Protein Plus pasta. I would say I actually like this more than Bonza now just because the Bonza pasta does have a slight chickpea flavor to it. I really think this tastes so similar to regular pasta. I don't notice much of a difference. And so that's just why I think that I like this one a little bit better. But for the Barilla Protein Plus, it's also four points for two ounces. It's eight points for four ounces. So a lot of times with this one, I'll do a three ounce serving, which when I'm talking about the servings, it's all dry. I weigh it out dry and then boil it. And then that's how I have it. But for two ounces, it's 190 calories, one gram of fat, 38 carbs, five grams of fiber and 10 grams of protein. Two really good pasta options. They have a bunch of different noodles. Like I said, the cavatappi and the bow ties are probably my favorite for Bonza. And then for the Barilla Protein Plus, I really like the elbows. And then I really, really like the spaghetti and angel hair pasta from them. 
Okay, next up we have some dressings. So Bolt House dressings. I have a few here. My all-time favorite is definitely the ranch. This is just a yogurt-based dressing. It tastes very similar to ranch dressing. I don't notice much of a difference. Honestly, I haven't had just normal ranch in a long time. I used to practically drink ranch with my meals. And so it was something that was important to me to find a lower point option right in the start of my journey because I do like to over portion it. I like to use it a lot and put ranch on a lot of things like my pizza and chicken and stuff. So I was really happy when I found this and really liked it. It is two points for two tablespoons, 50 calories, three and a half grams of fat, three carbs, two grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. And it's just something that I always have on hand again for a bunch of different recipes for bowls, for chicken, different stuff like that. So another one I really like is their Italian dressing. This is 25 calories for two tablespoons. And then also their creamy Caesar, which is 50 calories for two tablespoons. And both of these are also two points for two tablespoons. Okay, next thing I'm talking about is protein powder. So this is another thing that I've had pretty much from the start of my journey. Not so much the start of my journey, actually, the start of going to the gym because I wanted to find a good high protein option after the gym. I like protein shakes, and so that is why protein powder works really well for me. I really like these because they're only one point for a scoop and they have 22 grams of protein in them. These are some of the flavors I've really been enjoying lately, the cookies and cream and vanilla. My two favorite flavors are banana cream and blueberry cheesecake, but those have been out of stock for a while now. I don't know if they'll be in stock when I post this video, but either way, all of them are good options. They're all one point for one scoop, and I pretty much just add them to my protein shakes after the gym because that's a good way for me to get in some good protein, and it's actually pretty filling when I'm hungry after the gym. Okay, next up we have love corn. So this is one of my favorite salty snacks. I have like a whole group of salty snacks, but I'm just gonna do these separately because this is something that I've been buying from the start of my journey. I eat this all the time just as a quick snack. I love to take it hiking or if I'm just on the run again because they have the mini bags as well. And I also really like to add it to snack mixes, but it's gluten-free, vegan, and for the serving that I have, it usually just depends. So they have the smaller bags that I wanna say are two to three points for the serving, but if you have an ounce, which is the serving, there's four servings in this bag. It is three points on WW, 130 calories, four and a half grams of fat, 20 carbs, two grams of fiber, and two grams of protein. So I really like the barbecue flavor. Adam and Trevor really like the habanero chili, and then I also really like the vegan cheesy, but they have sea salt that's just as good. They pretty much just taste like regular corn nuts, but they're a good low point snack. They're salty, they're crunchy, and they're really satisfying. I like to order them off Amazon. I also get them from Meyer and Fresh Time. So yeah, these are something I've been buying from the start. They've stayed on my must have list pretty much since I started WW. Then I guess we could just go into the other salty snacks really quick. So I just put them all together because again, I wanted to keep it at 30 items. So this is all just one together but pretty much just salty like puffs or crunchy things like that I just put them in one category like chips but none of these are really chips but pitos are one of my favorite snacks they're one point for this bag which is 70 calories and two grams of protein it's got eight carbs they taste just like funyuns but they're almost kind of like a crouton flavor to me I don't know I love those and they're low point like I said then I also have hippies so this is the big bag from Sam's Club but this is the white cheddar flavor, which I really like. It is vegan white cheddar, and they're just little puffs like this. They kind of remind me of the white cheddar Cheeto puffs, which I used to eat those all the time, but these kind of replaced it for me. These are made with chickpeas instead, and plant protein, they're gluten-free. For the serving, it's only three points on WW, which I think the white cheddar Cheetos were five or six. But for 20 pieces, it's 130 calories, four and a half grams of fat, 19 carbs, three grams of fiber, and four grams of protein. So I find that these are actually really satisfying. They're filling, they're salty, and I really like the flavor of them. They also have a few other flavors. Sriracha is really good, barbecue is really good. So I definitely recommend hippies. And then the last like chip type snack I have, Skinny Pop, which again, I feel like this one might have been on my list every year too, because I eat a lot of Skinny Pop. In general, we eat a lot of popcorn. We like to do air pop which is zero points, but this is just a convenient option. I used to bring these to work every single day. They're three points for one bag, 100 calories, seven grams of fat, 10 carbs, two grams of fiber, and one gram of protein. And I just really like how salty they are. I like to use these as a base for snack mixes if I don't make air popped popcorn. But again, it's something I can just bring with me hiking, bring with me when I'm running errands, and I really enjoy these. I get the box of 28 from Sam's Club usually. Okay, next up, another item that's been on my list every time, that is light shredded cheese. So these are both from Trader Joe's. I've also gotten it from Meyer, Walmart, and Woodman's. 
but light shredded cheese is a really good option for me. I personally don't prefer fat free cheeses. I find that they don't taste as great and they kind of upset my stomach worse than even regular dairy, which regular dairy does kind of make my stomach hurt. I like to take lactate to help with it, but I find that these make me feel the best out of all the different cheese options I've tried. They're pretty low point. For the light mozzarella, it is two points for the serving of an ounce, 60 calories, two grams of fat, three carbs, and seven grams of protein. And then the light Mexican blend cheese is three points for the serving. It's a quarter cup, it's 80 calories, four grams of fat, two carbs, and eight grams of protein. So these are something that I just use whenever I make pizza, eggs, pasta, anything that I need cheese for. I usually prefer to buy the shredded. Sometimes I buy slices for sandwiches or burgers or something like that, but usually I'm buying shredded cheese wherever I can get it. This is from Trader Joe's. It's something that I've gotten from the start of my journey. We kind of went through a phase with the fat-free cheddar and mozzarella. We used to just buy it from Walmart and I just found like I said that it really did mess up my stomach. I would have extremely bad like pain the nights that I would eat it and when we realized that we just kind of cut it out completely. It wasn't worth the zero points and so this is worth fewer points but still tastes really good like normal cheese and it doesn't upset my stomach. Okay next I have chicken sausages. So chicken and turkey sausages but what I'm showing today just chicken. So these are the roasted garlic chicken sausages from Trader Joe's and then these are the Balinski Cajun style which they have a few other flavors. They have an Italian sausage one or Italian pepper one and a mushroom one that I really like. These are the lowest point chicken sausages I've been able to find. This one specifically these are only one point for one link whereas the Trader Joe's ones they're three points for a link so still not bad at all. It's a good source of protein so the Balinskis are 80 calories for one, two and a half grams of fat, one carb, one gram of fiber, and 12 grams of protein. And then the Trader Joe's are 110 calories for one, six grams of fat, three carbs, and 11 grams of protein. So both of these, I just like to cut up and add to eggs for breakfast burritos or to pasta or pizzas. So many different things you can use sausages for. Pretty much anything you need sausage for, these work really well. I think these have really, really good flavor, but I just like that these are low point. The Cajun aren't my favorite out of the Balinskis. I do like them, but I think that the Italian bell pepper one is my favorite, and I think those are two points for one. Just a good high protein option to add to different dinners and breakfasts. Okay, next we have crunchy taco shells. So I specifically like to get the Taco Bell brand, although Trader Joe's has a blue corn taco shell that I really like. They're pretty low in points. These are four points for three of them, which isn't bad, especially because it really does satisfy that craving for Taco Bell. So for three shells, it's 160 calories, seven grams of fat, 20 carbs, two grams of fiber, and two grams of protein. And I pretty much just make Taco Bell at home when I get these. So I'll make some taco meat or chicken. I'll add that. I'll add some shredded lettuce, some cheese, tomatoes, some Taco Bell mild sauce, because I just buy the bottle like this. And yeah, these are really nice to have. They're super crunchy. They have a little salty flavor to them and really good option for me. Something I've been buying pretty consistently for the past couple years now. Next up we have Laughing Cow. So I have two flavors here. This is the one I buy the most. This is just the light Laughing Cow. So I think it's supposed to be Swiss, but this is also the Pepper Jack. Both of these are one point for one wedge. They come with eight wedges in them. And I like to use these for a lot of different things. I like to use them on quesadillas, but I think the thing I use them for the most is air fryer chicken wraps. I'll spread one of these on, I'll spread some hummus, add veggie mix and chicken, and that has become like my go-to wrap for lunches. But I also like to use it for pasta. It works really well. It takes a little bit to melt sometimes, but it will melt and mix in and work well on noodles. It works well for different like crab rangoon recipes whenever I need to make something like that with crab and then a little bit of mayo. I use the light laughing cows as well. And it's just something that I always buy. I buy them from Walmart usually, but they are pretty easy to find at other stores. They're a good low point option. You can also just snack on them with like cucumbers or peppers or pretzel crisps or something like that. They have good flavor. I also use them as cream cheese on bagels. So, so many different things you can use them for. Okay, next up I have Thai wheat noodles. So I have two different options to show. These are definitely my favorite. These are the Trader Joe's Thai wheat noodles. It comes with three packs in there. There's also the Thai kitchen stir fry noodles like this. So when Trader Joe's stopped carrying these, I started buying these instead. They are a little different. These are much like chewier, I feel like. I don't know how to explain it. They're more like dense noodles, whereas these are a little bit more like translucent. So either way, both of them are really good. And I make the recipe the same for both of them anyway. But 
For these, the pack of one is eight points on WW. It's 310 calories, two grams of fat, 63 carbs, four grams of fiber, and 10 grams of protein. And then these come with four packs in them, and each pack is six points. So for that pack, it's 200 calories, one gram of fat, 45 carbs, and four grams of protein. So another good option, but pretty much just something that I use for dinners, and it's easy to kind of toss them with some soy sauce and a bunch of veggies, add a protein like shrimp or crab, and then I have a meal made. Okay, the next thing I'm talking about is nuts and more, and actually this is my last container that I have, so I need to make an order tonight because I need more of it. I really, really like nuts and more. We've been buying it for a couple years now. When we first started our journey, we went to vitamin shop and tried a few different like nut butters that they had there. And we did not like some of them, but nuts and more we loved. And we found ourselves going back and buying more. And then we just started ordering it online. And since then, that's what I do. So they have a bunch of different flavors. Definitely not as many as American Dream Nut Butter, which we have tried and we do like as well. But there's just something about nuts and more the sweetness and I don't know it's a lot different than peanut butter to me because of the texture it's kind of like crystally it almost tastes like you're like crunchy on sugar I don't know how to explain it but I love it especially with apples that's what I use it for the most so this flavor is the white chocolate pretzel I really like this one it's got some white chocolate chips and pretzels at the top you can't really see it but one of my favorite options as just a dip with apples I like to drizzle some on apple nachos sometimes although only certain flavors work because like this one has a lot of toppings in it so it gets kind of thick when you mix it but some of the ones that work well for apple nachos are birthday cake salted caramel and toffee crunch but anyway for two tablespoons it's 190 calories 13 grams of fat nine carbs three grams of sugar and nine grams of protein so it's just a higher protein lower sugar option and for the serving for some of them it's five points and for some it's six points this is a six point option but a couple of them are five. So those are just something that I've been buying pretty much from the start of my journey when we tried out a few different flavors and we stuck with nuts and more and that's been our favorite since. Okay, the next thing I don't have with me, but it is 96% lean ground beef. And this is something that I started buying more recently this year. In the start of our journey, we didn't eat much red meat. We found that when we did eat it, it really kind of upset our stomachs. And so we kind of just backed off from red meat for a little bit and we've started to incorporate it more and more. And now we actually eat it pretty frequently. And the 96 6% lean is just my favorite because it's a good lower point option. It's three points for four ounces usually. And what I like to do is take a pound and make it into five burgers. Like I mentioned before with the egg and panko, I make it into five burger patties. And then each burger patty is only two points on WW. So it's a good low point option. It tastes really good. And it's just something different from ground turkey or ground chicken all the time. So I also use it for taco meat, but I really do prefer to use the ground beef for burgers. Okay, next up we have Bear Bell. So this is my all-time favorite protein bar. Every single time we try a new protein bar, I just compare it to Bear Bells and nothing has beat them so far, honestly. I've tried so many different flavors of so many different kinds and Bear Bells are just my go-to for all of their flavors still. So Salty Peanut's one of my favorites, Caramel Cashew, Cookies and Cream, Creamy Crisp. Those are all some of my favorites. I also like the White Chocolate Almond and there's a few others I can't even think of right now. They do have some vegan plant-based options as well, but I do prefer the regular Bear Bells. Most of them are five to six points on WW. For this one specifically, it's 200 calories, eight grams of fat, 18 carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So I think that they taste so much like candy bars. I think that the salty peanut tastes like a Snickers bar. I think that the cookies and cream is kind of similar to like a Hershey's cookies and cream bar, although it is covered in chocolate, so it's a little bit different. The caramel cashew is really good, also kind of like a Snickers or something. And then the creamy crisp is like a 100 grand bar. That is my favorite. I've only been able to really order that one online. Sometimes around Christmas time, they have it at Trader Joe's as holiday crisp, but then they created it into a permanent flavor that's creamy crisp. So it's the same bar. But anyway, those are just my favorite protein bar. I like to have them after the gym, but I also like to have them as a dessert sometimes because they really do just taste like a candy bar. Okay, if I moved around a little, it's because my battery died. But anyway, moving on to the next thing, we have hummus. So hummus is another thing that I didn't used to really like, but I guess I was just eating the wrong brands or flavors because I have found some hummuses that are my favorite, favorite. I buy them all the time and I love them. So my favorite would definitely be the black bean hummus from Lantana. This is only one point for two tablespoons. It has great flavor. It works really well in bowls and on wraps and I just buy it all the time. It's 50 calories for two tablespoons. It's got five carbs, two grams of protein and two grams of fat. And mostly I just use it for wraps. Then I have the Ithaca Grillo's Pickle Hummus. So 
This flavor is so good. If you like pickles, this is the best flavor that they have. It's so delicious. It's 45 calories for two tablespoons, one point on WW. It's got five carbs and two grams of protein and two grams of fat. So very similar to the black bean hummus. This is one that I like to just have as a snack a lot with like cucumbers or with pretzel crisps. And then the last one, this is a little bit higher point, but this is the sweet chili garlic hummus from Boar's Head. This flavor is so good. I feel like it has a little kick to it, but nothing crazy. Before the serving, it's 70 calories. It is three points on WW, so like I said, it's higher, but it's so worth it for the flavor. It's just delicious. It's four grams of fat, six carbs, and two grams of protein. And this one is another one that I like to have with cucumbers, so I guess it doesn't matter as much that it's higher in points. I usually have them with mini cucumbers as a snack, and it's so good, or pretzel crisps, or crackers, like Crunch Masters. Okay, the next thing I don't have with me, I need to get more from the store because I already used it up, and that is the Green Giant Sweet Potato and Cauliflower Riced Veggie Mix. So that's something that I use whenever I make fried rice or Spanish rice. I use it as the base because it helps to make it more filling. I like to add jasmine rice too with the other veggies, but it really does bulk the meal up. I found that compared to just regular cauliflower rice, the cauliflower and sweet potato really makes a difference. I think that the sweet potato in it gives up just a little bit more substance and that's why I prefer it. So for that, it's 50 calories for one cup. There's three cups in the bag and it's one point for that serving. So the whole bag's three points. I usually just calculate it when I make the recipe so it just depends what I'm making but it works really well to bulk up meals. Okay next up we have grated parmesan cheese which is so random but this has become something that I use all the time because I found that you can use a good serving for low points. So the servings for two teaspoons which is one point usually that's a good amount but sometimes I can use more and still it's only a point. It's 20 calories one and a half grams of fat and two grams of protein. I feel like it adds good flavor. I like to use it most on veggies, potatoes, pasta, different stuff like that. Usually pizza, sometimes I'll top it with, but it's just really good to add just a little bit of extra flavor to like vegetables and stuff like that. So I always have this. Sometimes I'll get the mix. So this is like the Parmesan and Romano cheese, but sometimes I just get the grated Parmesan. Next up we have Ezekiel bread. So this is my bread of choice and it has been for a while now, actually. I feel like in the beginning of WW, we didn't eat many different breads like this. It took us a little bit to finally try Ezekiel and then this became our go-to for toast, for sandwiches. Adam uses this every day for his lunches and this is the flax flavor. I think the sesame and flax are our two favorites that we've tried. For the serving of one slice it's one point but for two slices it's three points and for one it's 80 calories on WW, one gram of fat, 14 carbs, three grams of fiber and five grams of protein. So it has a decent amount of protein and it's really good just air fried or toasted and then made into like a sandwich. Sometimes I like to use it for avocado toast. It is flavorful and honestly I like sometimes that it has like the seeds and stuff in it, the grains. It really does add good flavor but it's not like over the top. Like some breads we've had, the grains and stuff just get stuck in your teeth and I just don't like it but I do like these breads. They're not over the top with that if that makes sense. Okay, the next thing I also don't have with me, but I usually buy the big 25 pound bags from Sam's Club. I actually do have it with me. It's in the cookie room, but I don't want to bring it out here. It's a 25 pound bag of jasmine rice from Sam's Club. I usually just buy it in bulk because we make bulk batches and put it in the fridge in storage containers. And that's how I stay on track with just like prepping ingredients ahead of time. I use them for bases of bowls and it's really convenient to have them ready. So usually I will just put my bowl that I'm going to be making my meal in on the scale and then I'll scoop out the cooked rice and I'll weigh it that way. I like to have a five or six point serving. Usually one cup of jasmine rice is six points on WW and it's about like 180 to 200 calories depending on the brand. So it's just a good option. I like to have regular rice like that or jasmine specifically because of the flavor and I find that I'm more full if I do a base of rice versus like lettuce or just plain cauliflower rice. Okay next up we have skinny dipped nuts. So I talk about these a lot on my channel but these have just become one of my go-to desserts. I love different types of nuts and especially when they're dipped in chocolate. So when I found these and found that they weren't crazy coated because a lot of times the nuts are like this and it's just like out of control and it adds so many more calories and so much more sugar. So what I like about these is that they're thin dipped. That's the whole point. They're skinny dipped nuts and they have so many different options. So here are more of the, well these two are more of the fruity ones. This one is the birthday cake. My all time favorite is the salted caramel cashew and then I really like the dark chocolate almonds as well. I also really really like, okay this might be my favorite actually, the strawberry lemonade almonds and then the peanut butter and jelly peanuts. So so many different options 
ones, like I said. I usually can find them at Fresh Time or honestly, I think they have them at Walmart and places like that. Otherwise, I order them off Amazon. And usually the serving is five to six points depending on which type you have. Like for these, it's 140 calories for the ounce, 10 grams of fat, 14 carbs, three grams of protein. And it's just become a good dessert or sweet snack in the middle of the day if I want something that I can just grab and portion out and it's really good. Okay, then the last thing that I have on my list, this is something that's been a staple since I started WW and that is low carb tortillas. So I have three options here that I buy all the time. Oops, that one was open, I guess. So I have three options here that I buy all the time. I would say the brand that we enjoy the most and buy the most would be the La Banderita carb counter tortillas. These are one point for one or two for two. It's 45 calories for one, a gram of fat, 15 carbs, 11 grams of fiber, and five grams of protein. The extreme wellness are also similar. 50 calories for one, one and a half grams of fat, 15 carbs, 11 grams of fiber, and five grams of protein. And then the next one that I buy the most would be tomorrow. So they have a few other flavors. I really like the everything bagel. They have a good wheat version. And then they also just have the premium white. I also like the sourdough. For these, it's 60 calories for one, two grams of fat, 12 carbs, seven grams of fiber, and five grams of protein. So all of these have just been a staple for tacos, enchilada bakes, breakfast burritos, chicken wraps. I use them all the time quesadillas. I use them for everything. It's been really nice to have a few different options that are low point. They're all one point for one. They also make some 10 inch versions of the Extreme Wellness and the La Banderita and some of the Tomorrow actually. And that way I'll just have one of them. Usually one is two points when they're the larger ones. Those are just a staple item that I use all the time and I usually can find those anywhere. It just depends the store I go to what brand I'll be getting. That wraps up everything for today. Those are all of my WW must-haves updated as of this year. It probably isn't like crazy different from past times that I've done these videos, but it's always nice to have a little refresher and to have all of these items in one place. Like I said, these are in addition to all of the zero point foods and I'll link that in the description box for the video to the zero point foods that I eat. But these are just the foods that are worth points on WW that I buy all the time. They're just a huge part of what I eat every day and the foods that I enjoy and have really helped me find sustainability in this lifestyle. So Anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time.